Hello friends, we were discussing about trigonometric ratios and in this video we will talk about values of these ratios for some specific angles. So if you remember the ratios that we spoke about were sine for angle A, then cos for angle A, tangent for angle A, cot of angle A, cosec of angle A and sec of angle A. Now we will see the values of these ratios for some specific angles. So A could take 5 values. Let's start with 0 degrees, then 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and finally 90 degrees. So A can take all these values. So these are the standard values and we'll try and fill up this table that is we'll find out the value of sine 0 degree, sine 30 degree, sine 45 degree and so on and similarly for cot and cosec and other ratios as well. So let's see how to proceed about this. Let's start with 45 degrees. So let me draw the triangle. Let's say this is triangle ABC, right angle at B and angle A is 45 degrees. So when angle A is 45 degrees, angle B is 90 degrees, angle C would have to be 45 degrees. This is by the angle sum property, angle A plus B plus C is 180 degrees. So if angle A is 45 degrees, angle C would have to be 45 degrees. If you remember, in an isosceles triangle, the opposite angles were always equal. So since angle A is equal to angle C, we can clearly say that AB is equal to BC. These two sides are equal to each other. So let us assume that AB and BC are A units. These are the lengths. So when AB and BC are A units, using the Pythagoras theorem, let's see if we can find out the value of AC. So in this triangle ABC right angle at B, AC is the hypotenuse which means by Pythagoras theorem we have AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Correct? We have assumed AB and BC as A units since both of them are equal. So we can write the right hand side as A square plus A square which gives us 2A square. This is the value of AC square. Hence AC would be under root of 2A square or root 2 times A. So the value of AC is nothing but root 2A. Now since we have the values of all the three sides, this is A, this is A, this is root 2A, now we can find out the ratios. So let's talk about sine of angle A. Now for angle A, the opposite side is BC and the adjacent side is AB. Sine of angle A is equal to opposite by hypotenuse which gives us opposite is BC, hypotenuse is AC and hence we have A by root 2A. So sine of 45 degrees is nothing but 1 by root 2. Similarly we can look for other ratios as well. Let me just erase out so that we have space. So cos of angle A is equal to cos of 45 degrees which would be adjacent that is AB or A by the hypotenuse which was root 2A. So we see that cos of angle A or cos of 45 degrees is also 1 by root 2. Now since we have sin and cos for 45 degrees we can find out tan of 45 degrees which would be sin 45 upon cos 45 which is equal to 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 and this is 1. Now we can find the other ratios as well. So let me just fill out the table that we had. So yeah, so for 45 degrees sin we got as 1 by root 2 cos of 45 degrees we got as 1 by root 2, tan we got as 1, 
so cot would be inverse of tan of 45 degrees so tan of 45 degrees would be 1 again because 1 by 1 is again 1 then cosec for 45 degrees would be inverse of this one sine so this would be root 2 by 1 so which is root 2 again and similarly sec 45 degrees would be root 2 so we have one column already now now let's talk about 30 degrees and 60 degrees let me go back now let's draw an equilateral triangle let's say this is an equilateral triangle a c and d now let me draw a b which is perpendicular to c d so i'm just drawing the perpendicular from a on c d so this is 90 degrees let this be b so a b is perpendicular to c d now let's look at these two triangles triangle a b c and triangle ABD. We know that ABD is an equilateral triangle. We have AC equal to AD. We also have angle C equal to angle D. And by construction, we have angle ABC equal to angle ABD, which is 90 degrees. So by the RHS congruency criterion we have triangles ABD and ABC as congruent so these two triangles the one on the left and the other one on the right are congruent they are same so we have angles CAB equal to angle DAB because they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles and also we have CB equal to BD again by CPCT now since these two angles are equal and we know that angle CAD was equal to 60 degrees because CAD triangle is an equilateral triangle so all angles are 60 degrees and we also know that angle CAB plus angle DAB that is CAB this angle plus this angle is equal to angle CAD and we just saw that these two angles are same so we have twice of angle CAB equal to angle CAD which is 60 degrees so we will have angle CAB as 30 degrees this is 30 degrees and this was always 60 degrees now once we have this let us assume that the side of this equilateral triangle is 2a so let's say this value is 2a and we also saw that CB is equal to BD and hence CB would be A and BD would also be A similarly AC is 2a let's look at this smaller triangle triangle ABC right angle dot B where angle CAB is 30 degrees and angle ACB is 60 degrees so we don't know the value of AB how can we find that out by the Pythagoras theorem yes of course so in right angle triangle triangle ABC angle B is 90 degrees so we can say that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square and hence AB square would be equal to AC square minus BC square we have assumed AC as 2A so this would become 2A whole square minus BC we know is A so this is A square so we have 4A square minus A square or this is 3a square since ab square is 3a square ab would be a times under root 3 so now we know that ab is root 3a now we have all the sides of triangle abc we know all the measures 
AC is 2A, AB is root 3A and BC is A. So we can find out the ratios again. Let's find out sin 30 degrees and cos 30 degrees first. So angle CAB is 30 degrees. So we'll see that sine of 30 degrees would be equal to the opposite side that is BC by the hypotenuse that is AC. So this will become sine 30 equal to BC is A and AC was 2A. So sine 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 or 0 0.5. Similarly, cos 30 degrees from this triangle if you see would be for angle this one 30 degrees cos would be adjacent that is AB by the hypotenuse that is AC again. So AB we know is root 3A and AC is 2A. So we have cos 30 as root 3 by 2. Now let's feed these values in the table above. So sine for 30 degrees was 1 by 2. Cos for 30 degrees was root 3 by 2. So tan of 30 degrees would be sine of 30 degree by cos of 30 degree that is 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2. 2 and 2 would get cancelled and we'd be left with 1 by root 3. So cot of 30 degrees would be root 3 by 1 or just root 3. Cosec of 30 degrees would be 2 by 1 or just 2 and sec of 30 degrees would be 2 by root 3. Now in the same triangle we can see the values for 60 degrees. Here is the 60 degree angle. Now for this we would have sine of 60 degrees would be opposite by hypotenuse and the opposite of 60 degree angle is AB and not BC. So this is AB by hypotenuse remains same AC. So AB was root 3A and AC was 2A. So we have sine of 60 degrees as root 3 by 2. And cos of 60 degree would be adjacent that is BC by the hypotenuse that is AC. So if you see carefully BC by AC we have already found out that was 1 by 2. So cos of 60 degrees would be BC by AC and that would be 1 by 2. So again let's feed these values. So we have for 60 degrees sin of 60 degrees was root 3 by 2 and cos of 60 degrees was 1 by 2. So we would have tan of 60 degrees as root 3, cot of 60 degrees would be inverse of tan that would be 1 by root 3, cosec 60 degrees would be 2 by root 3 and sec 60 degrees would be 2. I hope we are clear about the values of these ratios for 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. We will take up the values of these ratios for 0 degrees and 90 degrees in the next video. Bye.